Welcome to Artistic Adventures. We're into part three of our Marie Antoinette doll, and we're going to be doing some underclothes in this video, some lace stockings and some bloomers. So here's where we are at this point on the doll. We have the dress pretty much completed, and I'm going to be using a another doll to do the lace bloomer, the uh, bloomers and the lace stockings because I didn't want to I really don't want to take the dress off of the doll. I'm not sure I could get it off of the doll. So we're going to use this stand-in doll. <laughs> so the uh, material I'm using for the lace is, is stretchy. And then I'm going to put this le uh, lace that I have on top of the, uh, of the stocking for a little extra decoration. Then I'm going to use some satin for the bloomers. So I'm going to move you guys in a little bit here so you can see how I'm doing this. And basically what I'm doing is um, folding this over in half wide enough so that I can cut out one of the stockings. So the front of the stocking will be the fold part because I don't want to have a seam there. So I'm just going to lay the doll down and measure based on how high I want it to go. I want it to be just over the knee. And then I'm going to mark where the toe would be and then... Um, allow for about a, a fourth of an inch seam. Well, you can always trim this, so if you want to make it just a little bit bigger to give you more room to sew, that's fine. Um, I actually did at the top. And then once you have one of them cut out, you can actually use that one as the pattern for the other one. And then sort of trimmed it up a little bit to make sure that the sides were symmetrical and it was the shape I wanted. So you have these two shapes that look basically like this. And when you sew them, because she has these pointy toes, you know, it's really just sort of a, a straight seam all the way down to a point. And then we'll be making her some shoes to go on top of that. Now I'm going to use this satin material for the bloomers because, you know, she's the queen and that's what queens would wear, I think, is satin in their underwear, right? Satin or silk, who knows, but something nice something pretty and soft okay so basically to do this I lay the doll down and I sort of figure out how long I want them to be and make allowance for turning up a hem on the legs so I want them to come up to about now well, there or a little bit lower because I want the stocking to you know the top of the stockings to show and then I figure out the top part with enough to uh, turn down for waistband and I cut this out. Now, I'm going to key you in on something here. I made this too small. <laughs> I made the whole thing and I couldn't get them on it, which was kind of crazy. But uh, I'm going to go through the process here instead of refilming it and then just know that I, I made them again and they're, they're about twice the size. <laughs> about halfway through this film, I'll show you where I, I switch over to the new new ones. But I am putting fray check on this because the satin material does fray very easily. And this gives it a nice edge. And it's, and it's a little bit firmer too. So it gives you a nice edge to turn up. Now I'm going to set those aside and let that fray check dry. And go back to our stockings. And we're going to go ahead and attach that lace to the top of the stocking. And as usual, this is some of the lace that my friend Deb sent me. And I'm always appreciative of that. So I'm going to sew that on with the sewing machine, trim up the edges, and then do the other one. And this is, you know, fairly large uh, cut, but I'm going to be able to have a nice one fourth inch seam there. And then just go ahead all the way down the side, and you're going to come to a point. Now I had a little trouble with my bobbin there, and that's that's me fixing it, but um, ended up. It just got tangled in a knot, and I had to undo it. All right, so same thing on the other side. About a fourth of an inch of a seam all the way down to the point, and I am going back and forth on the ends to uh, lock that seam down. And now I'm going to use my little turner tool. You've seen me use this before. I bought that to turn doll fingers when I was making fabric dolls, and I hated it the fingers so much that I quit because it was a real pain to turn those little tiny fingers. But I kept the tool and it comes in use useful every now and then to turn small things like this. Alright, so there's how that's going to look, the over the knee 
lace stocking and we're going to put some embellishments on those and I've turned both of those and we'll set those aside for when we finish the bloomers. Now this is still the small pair but the process is the same. I'm turning up the leg opening to hem it and I am going to put some elastic at the bottom of the legs so that they're gathered and that's really what the problem was here. I didn't allow enough fabric for the seams and the gathering. And, uh, you know, as usual, I tell you guys, this is an adventure. Well, this was an adventure that failed. <laughs> but thanks to the magic of editing, you guys will get to see the finished product with the bigger ones that I cut out. Now, I'm going to attach this just by sewing the elastic on and stretching it as I sew it. So what I want to do is leave a little of the elastic at the end so I can pull it. And then once I get it lined up, I put the needle down into, through the elastic and the material, go back and forth just a few times to lock it. And then I'm going to hold that back one and hold the front one and stretch it out and then sew over the elastic. And that makes it gather. This is easier than trying to run it through a small casing. And I just held it as I went through the second leg opening. And now I'm just going to snip those two apart. I just did that so it was it was just easier to go ahead and keep sewing. All right, so there's the bottom of the two legs. Now we're switching over to the bigger size. So you can see how much bigger I ended up making them so that they would fit loosely, which is what I wanted. And uh, now I'm just sewing up the side seams. And once I finish the side seams, then we'll go back and sew the under leg, under leg seams in the centers, okay? And then we do want to clip that crotch area just so it'll turn right. Just basically just came up to a point and up one side of the leg and down the other. And you want to make sure it will turn right. Okay, so now that we've got the bloomers sewn, we're going to put on some elastic. And what I did is take a piece of small elastic sewed a loop together with uh, needle and thread and now I'm going to put this tacky glue bottle in and then put the elastic down over it. So this is turned, you know, the pants are turned inside out and I'm putting this, stretching the elastic over the waist and then I'm going to fold down the waist top and sew that and that allows me to have a nice waist uh, elastic waistband. Now the waist of the fabric is larger than the bottle, so what you have to do is is hold the part that you're sewing, stretch it so that the fabric lies flat, and then as you sew, just you'll gather the feather fabric up behind you, so you're always able to to sew on a flat surface because you don't want to sew it gathered together. You want it to to stretch so it'll go on and off the doll. Having a bottle in it like this is nice to have a back. Uh, a firm backing so that you can sew it easily. Just run your, your needle in and out, in and out. And then when we turn it, you'll have a nice finished, finished edge like this. You can see how I would hold it. I'd pull it tight to sew it and then I'd just gather it behind it or ahead of it. And that way you come out with a nice elastic band. And it's a little hard to do because their waists are so small that it's almost hard to get it small enough to you know to look right but these are supposed to be loose anyway so I think these these look fine so we're going to try it on our model doll and see how they look and I think they're going to do fine they're going to fall just above the top of the stockings and allow us to see that nice lace detail on the stockings. All right, so now we're gonna push those stockings on and pull it down as much as you can. I'm gonna make her some pointy toe shoes so that point there on the lace stocking is not gonna matter. Uh, if, if it bothered you, you can always clip that off and glue it down. All right, so we've got our stockings on. And now for a few more little embellishments, I tied some small baby blue ribbon into bows and we're going to put that on the, the side of the lace stockings and yeah, you know, this is the part where you know we use E6000 instead of something we could we could have sewn but we were not we're going to glue it you know me 
So we're going to glue that down. And then because, you know, it's Marie Antoinette and she's decorative right at the side seam, I'm going to put another glob of glue. And then I'm going to attach one of those small satin rosettes that I used on the dress to the side of her bloomers for a little decoration. Yeah, that's pretty. So we got the ribbon on the stockings and the, and the rosette on the bloomers. And that's the finished product. And when we get to the end of the, the series, I'll actually put them on the Marie Antoinette doll, but I'm gonna wait until the very end. So at this point, we'll let our model wear them and show them off for us. And then at the end of the series, we'll put everything together. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We've got more coming up. I'm going to do shoes next, some Louis heels and some pointy toes and decorative shoes. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks and bye.